I think they're a rot lily. I think they're a money making scam. Charging people seven dollars for a t shirt that they got for free. Then, if nobody buys the shirt, after a month, they throw half of them out and just leave the best there. Why don't they just sell them for one dollar then? If they're gonna throw that shit out anyway, they might as well give it for fucking free. Every single thing they get is free and they sell all of it. Then, the boss told me that they have a quota and they have to make 1200 every day. And he said they always make that. That's a lot of fucking money considering that to rent a shop per week is approximately $1,200. So that's like daily profit for free items. They have sofas for $200. They have furniture for $100, cabinets. This is all free stuff. Why aren't they selling it cheaper? I've been trying to Google exactly what things they've done for the world and it's like very difficult to find anything remarkable on there. On top of that, he had like 30 workers and we're all volunteers. Every single person is a volunteer worker and he's the one that gets paid. If this was a real charity business, wouldn't they be taking the money and then sending like so many spare things overseas instead of throwing them out? I saw one thing that said they had visited 140 um, countries and $800,000 had been donated, but that's not much money at all. Lily... If they make 1200 a day minus 1200 for rent, that's 7200 a week. And $7,200 times 52 weeks in a year is like 370000 And they have more than 100 stores, all of them making that much each week. And that's just the minimum. What if they got like 10000 Three stalls at 370000 per year is already exceeding a million dollars. And they've only managed to send $800,000 in 20 years. This stuff is amazing. Look how clean they are. Look at this gross injustice. These mattresses are free. You get it cheaper from God. I'm a little slut and I have no clothes and my hair's fucked up, but I'm still one dollar. And I'm a monopoly game and I'm missing all my pieces and I'm still six dollars.